In this video, we will be studying about the India's foreign trade on the eve of independence. How was the foreign trade of India at the time of independence or in the year 1947? Now, what do you mean by foreign trade? It refers to the exchange of goods and services between different countries of the world It is known as your foreign trade. Now see trade means the exchange of goods and services and when you exchange these goods and services in the, for, uh, in the foreign market outside your domestic uh, boundaries, in that case that trade becomes your foreign trade because you are maintaining the relationship with the rest of the world. Now let's see what are the exports. It means that you are selling, that you are giving your goods and services to the rest of the world. You are producing those goods in your home country and you are exporting, you are selling those goods in the foreign country. Now let's suppose India is the big, uh, biggest importer of, uh, sorry, exporter of jute. So what India is doing, India is producing the uh, jute, that is the home, India is your home country. Now jute is being sold to let's say USA. So USA is your foreign country. Now you are sending goods out of the uh, your domestic market, selling goods out of the domestic boundaries. You are sending your goods to the rest of the world or to the other countries and in return you are receiving the amount which is the foreign exchange dollars you are receiving so India is increasing its foreign exchange by sending the goods outside the country so whenever you are selling something you are earning you are earning the profit so if we export more which means India has a surplus of balance of trade so this means your exports. Exports refers to selling of goods and services produced in home country to the other countries. Now let's say import India and China. We all know that China is a leader of technology. So what India is doing, India is buying, uh, buying or importing in the technology from China and what India is paying? India is paying rupee to the China so India is paying foreign currency paying its foreign exchange for buying goods and services See, whenever you buy something from someone, which means that you are reducing your income, you are reducing your money, you are spending much. So, India is spending its foreign exchange. So, these are your imports. Imports refers to buying of goods and services produced in the other countries. Buying of goods and services produced in other countries. 
these refers to the imports now understand the condition of foreign trade at the time of independence see what british government did to india india used to export right but india used to export only raw material it earlier the british ruled india was the exporter of finished goods the final goods india was a leading exporter but with the british rule in india in, they converted india india into the exporter but exporter of only raw material now india were imports finished goods they exploited the market of finished goods in india no finished goods was uh, produced in india so everything what india has to do india has to import everything from the british market from the britain or england you can say now export and import refers to your composition of trade and now what was happening you were exporting india was exporting raw material to britain india was importing finished goods from britain so this is known as your direction of trade so where your good is actually going and from where which country it is coming so this is the direction so this is known as the direction of trade now what britishers did britishers actually did the colonial exploitation of indian economy they were not doing this in uh, in order to grow and develop the indian economy they were the main motive behind the britishers were to exploit the indian economy right they used to uh, force farmers to produce only those or uh, to cultivate only those goods which were required in britain right and everything that britain used to produce after taking raw material from india they used to import to india so india becomes the importer of finished goods now see the cost of raw material is less whereas the cost of finished goods is always more so britishers what they used to do they used to import for the lesser amount and import the finished goods to the india from higher amount although the balance of trade exports were greater than imports in india but india was still not a growing or vibrant economy just because of the colonial exploitation made by the britishers in india i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us